Now, acknowledging that you may have a substance problem or mental health disorder is a first step to recovery. Visiting now at Sovereign Health uh, is the next step, honestly. That's the best place you really do want to go. And I've got, is it Dr. Me Mealy? Dr. Mealy. Yeah. Okay, Dr. Tony Mealy is here as well as Nicole Popper. Uh, Nicole's with the Palm Desert Area Chamber of Commerce, and you are with Sovereign Health. I always feel like I pronounced that wrong. Well, so, let me get sovereign? Sovereign. sovereign. Short O. Short O. Sovereign. sovereign. <laughs> you're so you're so good at it. You should be. Sovereign. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure yeah, to be yeah, here. Yeah. Good to see you. And good to see you too. I'm getting to you. I got a little tongue tied there. I get so excited when I have you next to me, you know? Okay, let's jump right in. Do you want to take a minute to talk about the chamber? Or? Just really quick. Right. Uh, what we're working on is uh, the B Business Expo, uh, October 6th. We have about 40 spots left for booths. Oh, wow. And we're so proud that um, Sovereign Health is joining us in that. They're going to be promoting their business, getting their word out there, which is exactly what the businesses need to be doing. Yeah, that's what so you do. It's, yeah, it's going to be great. So we're, we're really excited we're about really that. We're really pleased to be part of that. Thank yeah. you, Nicole. It's, Wonderful. Gonna, it's a great relationship Thank we have. You. And 40 oh. spots left. So, folks, at the end of the segment, you'll find out exactly how to... Uh, obtain one of those spots. Yeah. yeah. All right, Very so cool. on to Sovereign Health we go. So what can you tell us about the logistics of entering uh, treatment programs at Sovereign? Well, you know, it, as my colleagues in the past couple of weeks have shared, um, the opioid epidemic is really sparing a lot of interest in, in recovery. And uh, accessing Sovereign is fairly easy. You guys are running a trailer phone number uh, mm -hmm. right on the screen, and people can just call that. Um, I think what's really important for folks to know is uh, recovery the process often includes uh, relapsing mm -hmm. and one of the I think advantages of working with Sovereign Health is we have a, an entire system of care so if a uh, you know a fellow or a gal is struggling at one of our locations uh, rather than just simply discharge them and say hey you know we can't help you anymore mm -hmm. we can offer other sites mm -hmm. um, and we, we've done that uh, fairly frequently perhaps one site is a little bit too large maybe they need a smaller site mm -hmm. a site that's more gender specific so we have a whole um, you know continuum of care and options I think which really help uh, a number of patients so but accessing service is fairly easy just Call the number. That sounds uh, kind of rare. That doesn't sound like a service that's really provided as far as other options. I, you know, Brian, I think that's, that's, a, that's a good observation. Uh, I think some of the larger hospital systems, maybe something like the University of Pennsylvania hospital system, mm -hmm. University of Colorado, the hospital systems typically have a couple of satellite offices. What's a little bit different from us is that we're not, we have a national footprint. Mm -hmm. We do have some uh, other competitors that also have national footprints. I don't know that they have the um, same wealth at breadth of services that we have. Mm -hmm. I, I know that one of my colleagues uh, shared with you that we have a mental health service as yep. well as a drug and alcohol service, which positions us rather uniquely in the industry. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a footprint of uh, eight or nine sites across five states. Wow. I think we have four more coming up this year alone. Um, yeah, it's a- uh, Like wildfire. Uh, yeah, it, I'll tell you, the thing that's the neatest is, um, I put, uh, put a plug in for my CEO. <laughs> um, you know, we're, we're founded by a researcher, a brain researcher, and I think that permeates the, in, the entire flavor of the organization. Mm -hmm. We're passionately committed to really helping folks mm -hmm. uh, recover at, at, a, at a brain level. Right. Uh, we spoke last time mm -hmm. about the ability to, you know, um, manage triggers, not avoid them. And mm -hmm. how do you manage triggers? You manage them by training the brain to think differently. Right, knowing the so, source. Yeah, exactly. I like that. I, like that. Yeah. I think it's important that uh, I include that you guys are dual diagnosis. Yes. And this is really the future of treatment. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I mean, it speaks volumes. Absolutely, dual diagnosis with a separate mental health component, um, as I think Dr. Kinzel spoke last time about our PRIME program. Mm -hmm. So we're starting to specialize, because we're realizing that different groups of patients and clients need different types of services mm -hmm. based on their own experience and their developmental uh, age, if you will, mm -hmm. developmental stage in life. But mm -hmm. what I like is that common thread of getting to the brain and yeah. Yeah. realizing the root of the problem. Absolutely. And that's been said throughout all of them. Yeah, you know, I'm glad we're all drinking from the same uh, cool, <laughs> cooler. Uh, but but it is really the, the light motif of our organization, yep. making brain change. Yeah. So, yeah, I love having you guys on the show. I think that yeah. addiction really affects all of us. Absolutely. And uh, personally, this is the place to start. So there's no doubt about it. If you'd like to reach uh, out to Sovereign Health, give them a call or check out their website at sovhealth.com. You can also check out Palm Desert Area Chamber of Commerce. Give them a call or check out their website at pdacc.org. Big thanks to Nicole and Dr. Tony for being here today, and thank you. We'll see you after the break. Thank you, guys. Oh, my pleasure.